Oh my god, that sauce is so good! And that is basically how we ended up spending 10,000 pesos on seafood. <laughs> Good, Good evening, evening everyone. everyone! Today we are on a hunt! We want some fresh delicious seafood that comes from over here but the problem is neither Trina or I have been able to catch anything although there are a lot of boats on those beaches so we decided to go on a grilled seafood hunt here on Kamigan Island. Let's go, let's get started! Boom! Alrighty everyone, here's the situation. We've been driving around the island trying to find some fresh grilled street food on the side of the road. Unfortunately, we weren't really able to find any. All we found was grilled meats, but everyone was recommending that we come to this place. It's called J&A Fish Pen, so we are super excited to try it. We actually heard about it before from our YouTube recommendations and Instagram recommendations. Everyone told us that we need to come here. You can apparently fish your own fish because it's a fish pen. Who knows? I don't know what's going on here, but we're gonna go and taste some delicious food now. Cheers! <laughs> so we've got Michael and Nelly are back with us. Obviously, Michael, the foodie expert of the Philippines. Uh, Ta-ta! <laughs> and Nelly, are you ready to devour the crab? Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's Guys. So I know, oh my I know, god, honestly, what is that for? The, is that are you gonna hit Mike? Mike is just Loves. like Pierre. They always steal the camera from us. <laughs> just when we're about to see something. Guys, if you wanna if you wanna find out what is the best lechon. Mike and Pierre have decided we, to I go somewhere else. Like oh wow, we should've, should've ordered places. shrimp. They look really nice. Yeah, let's order some. You wanna order some guys? Yeah, we got garlic. it. Garlic. Oh, garlic is it good, the garlic shrimp? And that is basically how we ended up spending 10,000 pesos on seafood. <laughs> you won't believe how much money we spent on seafood. <laughs> there you go. We're onto something here. All right, so if you wanna make a good sauce, the first thing is to smash those chilies. So you smash the chilies. <laughs> there we go. You put it in the sauce. So I squeeze a little bit of calamansi in there. So it's gonna be delicious. Now I'm gonna add some coconut vinegar. Coconut vinegar. And that's going to be the bomb, guys. Really good. It's super chilly, super potent. -y. And I gotta say that there is a version that Michael made with soya sauce. And calamansi. And calamansi. But mine is going to be calamansi and vinegar, yeah. which is gonna be double tangy. Yeah. Are All you right. ready? Should we cheer and drink a little no, bit? No, 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 guys. Cheers. Guys. Do it for the oh, views. Oh, Do it for oh, the views. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. That oh. is so spicy. That is delicious. Ooh, it's good. This is the best thing after flaming Lamborghinis. Or a chihuahua. Oh, waf waf. Or setting Do you our, know what a waf waf is? Or setting our villa on fire with flaming uh, flambé bananas. Oh, we should make flambés tonight again. Oh my god. Oh my god! Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Yes. This is a molmol and that is squid. Wow. How do you call it? Molmol. Molmol? Yes, sir. Oh, and the Stone squid. Fish. Wow. Look at that. area we're in Kamigan right now and we've over ordered this is how much food we have for four people if you're in the area come over now just kidding we're gonna eat this all. honestly it looks so so good Nelly she's taking over the garlic fried shrimp we also have a whole what's it called mobile is that the fish? Yeah, it's the fish with less Look bones. at this. It's this dory. This looks delicious. I've been dying for a grilled whole fish. We have two squids. Look at this. Just grilled, clean, delicious, not complicated. Is it good? The fish is so good. Oh, wow. She oh almost. God, it's so juicy. So ever since the fish has been coming out, Nelly has secretly been taking pieces of fish and eating it. And she, every time she puts it in her mouth, she's like, Trina, this is so good. She's like sneakily eating. No one else has tried the food, only Nelly. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have two crabs. My crab is crab. kind of like lonely now because I thought this would be too greasy, but in fact, it looks delicious. It looks delicious. My crab is outside of the jacuzzi. That's Mike and Nelly's crab. Cucumber salad. We have some eggplant salad. And. 
There you go. A whole bunch of rice. Guys, what do you say? We dig in? Yes. Let's, let's yeah. get started with this. Let's dig again. This is one of the best fish I've ever eaten. Are you serious? Seriously. In the Philippines? Is, or no, in worldwide. Okay, <laughs> like, I'm gonna try it without the sauce because it's a bold claim. Everyone, that is a very bold claim. Oh. It is very good. It is very good. Ooh. Ooh, do you feel the smoky flavor yes. from the barbecue? Yes. Ooh, oh, this is great. Oh my god, this is really good, man. Beer makes better vlogs 9 from 10 times. So, Nelly, where are the boys' fish? I, I didn't see their fish. It's what? so strange. Like, they're fishing to come in. I mean, this is ours, right, Nelly? Yes. Exactly. So, I don't. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Look at this squid. So first of all, I mentioned to Nelly when the squid first came out, there's still a bit of translucence to the squid, which makes me believe just from the human eye that it is tender. I'm going to test that hypothesis with my mouth now. Ooh, I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> That's what happens when you get overly excited. I need to put my glasses on. Get a little bit. Whose sauce should I try? I wanna, I wanna dip it in with a little bit of sauce. Can I try your sauce, Mike? The Mikey Mike, Michael's special flaming hot dipping sauce. Well, thank sauce. you for the support, Trina. Oh, sorry, my bad. I just, I like the addition of soy, so. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's going in for the squid. That is good. Mm. That is not chewy at all. No. That is not chewy at all. That is so. Zero nice. resistance. You just. If you, if it goes in your mouth. Food. You just. Oh, that's lovely. What else should we try, Mike? Hurry up before they want to taste oh, yeah. stuff. Like. Oh, this one. Oh, oh that God. that's like theirs. No. It's okay. It's okay. What is that? First of all, what is it? Oh my God, that sauce is so good. <gasps> Put your crab in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is really good. Michael, high five me. Oh, that's so nice. This is, you know what? This is okay. like a perfect like it's, green curry somehow. Yes. This is for a Thai person. This is delicious. Would you? It is delicious. This is amazing. You know what? Oh my god, this is good. I am happy that we did not find the grilled street food on the street so, because this place is good. It, I, I, you know, I throw around the word insane a lot on this channel, but this seafood is insane. I'm in insane. A... This is out of the world seafood. I, I, can we go here every day? What else should we try? Oh, God, my... oh try a shrimp, Trina. Oh, I got a little, I got a little head on my shrimp. So as you guys know, maybe you've seen before, I do like to suck the head because it's delicious. Why don't you just laugh at me? It's good. <laughs> oh, I get it. Exit. <laughs> I <laughs> exit. Oh. Right? Right? It's like a little bit nutty. I love that. So I'm just going to tell you something right now. Even though it's fried in garlic, it really doesn't have too much of an oily taste. That's the perfect temperature so that the oil doesn't go into the meat of the shrimp. So it's still succulent, juicy, and not being over crazy. <laughs> That's good. And it's sweet. It's sweet and fresh. That is really nice. Michael, Michael, this, this, this is like crazy. This is so good. I just had a little bite, but you will see. We saw it grill on the fire. So yeah. the eggplant was grilling. So it's Kinanao Tanong. And you see, I kind of have it in every episode here. <laughs> this is wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. This is one of the best I've had. Even the beef farm was great, but this is like next level. It's more smoky, it's, right? It's different. It's, smoky, it's more yeah. spooky. Oh, and there's like those thick. Look at that. Look at that. This is like ginger porn. This no is so way. beautiful. Oh man. This is great. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But they, they mm. grilled it the eggplant you. before, didn't yeah. they? It kicks you, it refreshes you, it's absolutely amazing. Mm. Love it. Thank you. Michael. Oh, can we have some more chilies? Bing! Ch chilies? Thank you. Wow. Guys, it's uh, that's a must. This dish should be world famous, by the yeah. way. I don't know why it's not more world famous. Truth be told, before we came here, we were a little low energy, and this whole meal has re-energized yes, us. Yes, I agree. Red we're horse. so excited. <laughs> no, it's, it's the food. It's the food. <laughs> Maybe the beer as well, but it's maybe, <laughs> maybe exactly. it's Michael and I's awesome energy. Let's let's feast now, guys. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? That's one to, one to ten. Look at that. This is close. You can go home. You can go to school. Bam! You arrive at school, and there you go. You've got a plate. It's biodegradable. It's amazing, and all that. 
I just want to thank a lot of people right now. I want to thank the people who prepare the food and I want to thank the animals that actually lived a long life until we ate them. So thank you everyone because this is delicious. I'm so proud of you right now. Well, it is important for people to realize and acknowledge and be grateful about the food Absolutely. we have. I think it's something because we don't fish as much as we used to that we might forget, you know? Yeah, I absolutely. used to fish when I was a kid. I can tell you, it's a lot of work. And I think something that's, that, and we've spoken about this a uh, few times um, during our stay in Kamikin, we've noticed that this island is very cautious about yeah. being sustainable. Oh, there were oh little people sorting trash. Oh, and even more, there were people living, picking up trash in the middle of nowhere on the island. Such a crazy yeah. island. It's the first time I've seen that exactly. in Southeast Asia so, so far. So whoever wow. is responsible for this progressiveness on the island, two thumbs up from Pierre and I, uh, you're doing Bravo. an amazing job Bravo. and thank you very much. Pierre and Mike, forget about Night <laughs> no, we and Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we are reaching the end of the place. I don't think we can scrap it more. We literally started digging with our hands. Trina is, I don't know, very concentrated on our calamansi <laughs> right now. <laughs> Nelly just doesn't know what to do with her hands. <laughs> Michael and just watched his hand because I had his camera, his I had camera cannot touch the fish apparently. The appetite of this nocturnal forager has given it another name. The coconut crab. <laughs> this is a real mic. You won't see that on this channel. All right, guys. This was so, so good. And his squid was even more tender than our squid. It's, oh man, it's delicious. But I gotta say, if I had to eat everything, something every day, that eggplant salad that Kinarotano was the best thing we've ever had so far. I love them. Hands down, I, right? I agree. If I could say, uh, if I could number down my favorite dishes, I'd say number one was the fish. Yeah, fish. Number two definitely was that eggplant salad. Number wow. three was the crab curry, which we had here. My opinion, excuse me. <laughs> His opinion, her opinion. Exactly. Dun, dun, dun. So it was just, I mean, everything was. Awesome. I would say, I would say one, because you don't even need the crab. This was so good. Two, and then three is split between all of them. Yeah. Really? What's yours, Serena? I, I think, well, the meal, not every day, because that's just too much for my mind to think about. <laughs> One. Yeah, the fish. Two, I get my little shrimp shrimp. <laughs> three, that what? was delicious. And then four, eggplant salad. Nelly, what's your first? The fish. Oh. Definitely the fish. It's so well prepared. It's so good. You don't need anything else. Mm. Just the fish. It was super juicy. Two, <laughs> the crab and the coconut thing. The uh, eggplant. Four, the shrimps. And five, the squid. I just want to show you something. Oh, you see this? This? It's because she ate all the fish herself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, everybody had a plate except this is Nelly, like, this is I didn't have a we didn't have a boodle <laughs> fight yet Michael and Nelly had a boodle fight but they're saying it's getting really close to it right now yeah. absolutely all right hey stop that's my thought One ube cave time oh, these people so next much. to us it was their Thank niece's so third birthday and they have a huge cake and they just invited us to have some ube cake with them so we're gonna go ahead and try it look could you could you hold the camera <laughs> 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 So, I, I basically just crashed the birthday party here. Oh my gosh! This is so nice. Trina just stole the chocolate. I've just stolen his chocolate his cake. cake part. This it smells so good. Michael's so 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 going on the Uber Thank rampage. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you this so, so really much. Great. Exactly what we needed. <laughs> Are you from Kamigan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Such a wow. nice island. All right, this is how it goes down in the Philippines. Michael and Trina are just sitting down and gonna chat about the island and with the locals because it's beautiful and amazing. We'll see you in just a few minutes. If I'm very honest with you, I am about to pass out from a food coma. That was totally unexpected. I did not expect the food to be that good, genuinely. It's probably one of the best meals I had in the Philippines. I don't know about you, Pierre. Yeah, one of the best so far, definitely. This is so, so good. Yeah. So good. If you like the video and if you like watching our adventures, make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share with your friends. Have a little laugh, and most of all, make sure to head on over to Mike and Nelly's channel. It's called Making It Happen. They have their own version of life as well. And it's gonna be awesome. We're still traveling with them. This is, well, disclosure, this is the last leg of our 12 by 12 journey. It's, I think, country 10 right now out of 12. We have one month to go, so it's really exciting. 
make sure to follow us, please. See you in the next episode, guys. <laughs> and remember, make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when you're gonna pass out on crab. Bye. <laughs> How's Yo, it going, what's man? Up? Hey, why are you so black? That's a nice lens hood you got there. Where did you buy it? I like your hair, bro. How am I? When am I not funny, Michael? Never not Everyone funny. Everyone comments that I'm the funniest guy on the internet. Never. I break YouTube a few times. Never not funny. Pierre's like a This storm. is not the banana. Pierre's like wait, a wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, I love this. Okay. <laughs> Genuinely, Michael, he described Pierre when he's vlogging so, so, so well. Michael, do you know what I'm talking about yeah, with the absolutely. F1? Okay, he's gonna do it right now. He's gonna show you. So, the way it works is I'm, I'll be vlogging with my camera and I'll be talking to the camera and Pierre comes past and it pretty much sounds like this. <laughs> I love that. I'm his wife. I know it's true. Oops, I just dropped his camera strap and soy sauce.